Welcome back for episode three of my career. Oh, sorry, I was in the Jordan Charlin challenge. Uh, the second one went a little long because I I really needed to show everyone how uh, two K f me up. Because their game crashed. So. I'm sorry if, uh, if that one's going to be way too long. This one, we're going to keep it at the usual one hour, uh, one hour recording. So. That it's not too long for you guys. It's the oh, no, right, yep. become a starter play at least six games and you need to have at least 30 followers ready 30,000 followers for every game. or Othello wants you to score 50 total points average and points over in three games stretch and get 20 combined rebounds assists steals or blocks but is that per game I just wanted to congratulate you on becoming the sixth man. A really important role for us. Be humble. Alright, that's it. We'll get straight to the game. Late flashback game. How's that? Here's the... Okay, so bro. Alright, let's do this. The right badge combo can lead to elite level abilities on the court. There are many new badges this year, so I just want to spotlight one in each category that you'll be excited to try out with your new builds. If you want to score at the rim, then add the new Bully Badge to your Slasher this year. It unlocks a ton of strong contact finishes that enables you to push defenders out of the way for easy layups. A great new playmaking badge is Vice Grip. It helps you secure the ball against pesky defenders trying to rip you after rebounds, pickups, and catches. Definitely a must-have for all those glass-cleaning bigs out there. Spot-up shooters will want to grind for Hall of Fame Claymore. This is an interesting badge that encourages floor spacing. The longer you remain stationary in place, off-ball, the more effective... Hopefully the free throw is a lot better on pro. And Greg, we're still very early in the season. What are these teams right now doing to maintain success? Through Substitution and some board. changes here for the Pacers. Jackson comes in for Smith, and it's TJ in for Duarte. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Zach Collins checked in for Perk. Roby comes in for Johnson. Kata Bates Diops checked in for Doug McDermott. Nash is subbed in for Vassell. Uh, point. For San Antonio. They've got Nash, and it's Collins in at the center position. Just five to shoot. Halliburton passes to heel. It's hauled in by Bates Diop. Just doing the job on the backboard. To the paint, here's Nash. Come on. 
One is on heel. And the pace has been one of those teams that... There you go. There you go. There's clearly a youth movement in Indy, and, and with young talents like Tyrese Halliburton and Ben Matherin, they already boast some nice building blocks. Goga Bitadze is checked in for Turner. Nash, the come on. Lays it up and banks it in. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Healed outside. Back to Halliburton. On the wing, heel. from deep. Collins grabs the miss. Okay, let's just say it. This has been an ugly quarter for him. Not quite a break of mirror ugly, but it's getting there. The shot's good from Nash. And you look at MP, you have to think back to his very successful college career, Greg, was an outright star at that level. Yeah, stayed three years before making the jump to the NBA. You don't see that too often nowadays, but he won a college championship and had nothing left to prove. Damn. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. There you go. There it is. It's Nash picking up the assists. Collins has got his second basket of the game. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. And the Pacers call time here. They defeated the Wizards in their last part. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched by their opponents. That led to some easy buckets. And on top of probably having the better talent, they never let up. Great effort, great win. McConnell. Nine points last game. And play stops. Whistle. And little screens. Sensitivity on it is way too high. That's a very avoidable turnover. You gotta focus on the details. San Antonio leading. Greg, their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking it. Pass to Nash. Down to five on the shot clock. And that one, good. Now it's a four-point San Antonio lead. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Healed outside. Come on, dude. Why does it keep on sliding? And nothing is falling for him right now. That's it. Back to Nash. What the hell? And here's McConnell. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Second personal foul. And after a two-decade-plus playoff streak, the Spurs have been in the lottery the last three seasons, and they're focused more on youth and development. And both free throws, good for McConnell. Richard the Spurs with one of the youngest rosters in the league. Some quality young talent that they're very excited about. And also acquiring draft capital. And they have a history of finding some great players outside the lottery like Tony Parker and Manu Ginobili. You're right. They've always done it. Yeah, you got to. Keep on posting you up. Pacers trail by four. Two minutes remaining in the first. That's it to Halliburton. Has to be touched. In the corner, it's healed. Puts it up from 12. Good on the jump shot. Healed's got five points. Way too late. With that now, only two of seven to start the game. Not the start he was hoping for. MP looking around. Pass to Sohan. Sohan. 
kicks to Jang. And the Spurs scoring again. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. And it's McConnell. Oh, yeah. Spurs uh, brought this guy back. Uh, Gorgi. Gorgi. Well, and they didn't even let him play last year. But is that last year? Like two years ago or something? And they bring him back again. Makes his teammates better. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. This is a debate, Dion. Here's Johan. Make up your mind. Now, Jang can't hit that one. Healed outside. There's 25 seconds left to play here in the first. As we talk today, fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Defensive Look at Healed's unselfish approach. He's working to find everyone to look, not just himself. The Pacers making a switch here. Brissett's checked in. Vassell, he's checked in for the Spurs. Yeah, a lot of whistles here early, as well as foul trouble starting to be an issue. Nash outside. Last, and last, minute, last second bucket. They keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. It's San Antonio. They're up by one. The Spurs and will 28. Yes, pedal time. Here are your Indians. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. Guys, what's your take on the Spurs so far? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seen the momentum here early on. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified some weaknesses and they are exploiting them. Buddy Heald is out there with T.J. McConnell. Then it's turn. And it's Brissett in at the four. So that's the group out there for Indiana. And guys, Kelvin Johnson has continued. It does not suck that much on free throw. Scoring the ball better than he ever has in that growing What is going on here? Up or shoot or slash his way to the rim. What a rating that 2K gave you. Why was that less of a focus when you play? Uh, that's a great question. I think it's smarter to approach the game this way. We, we don't want to have. Yes. Because of guys maybe just taking it a little too far with the physicality. Here's Nash. He picked up 15 points in their last win against Charlotte. And he passed the ball so well in that game, keeping everybody involved, even as he was racking up all those points. Pass to Johnson. Five on the clock. Ball stolen. Here's Duarte, covered by Johnson. They shouldn't have traded Derek White in uh... six to shoot. Okay. Here's McConnell. A three pointer off the mark. And uh, San Antonio shooting a scorching 68% in the game. Oh. And a fast break now for the Pacers. This one for three. Buries it from three point range. You've got to be kidding me. Let's get your take, guys, and the hustle stats for the Pacers. Pass to Vassell. Out to Nash. Back to Vassell. Nash against McConnell. Nash's shot is in. It looked like he was playing against his little brother out there, the way he just went right over him with his height. McConnell. Whatever. Despite the size. Can you look at that? Look at that. Of that defense. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. That was the 2K drop. Is that? Was. 
Yeah, there really was a, a boost. Sets the tone in a close game like this. There was a boost on Summer League. Nash, the pass to Sohan. There it is. It's Nash Sohan. picking up the assist. The assist. Sohan's got the game tied up here for the Spurs. Indiana's gone one to two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Now the pass to Orte. McConnell scanning the floor. With the teardrop rebounded by the Spurs. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. Well, it helps when your opponent makes that many mistakes. I thought that was the story of the game. It definitely made things easier for them. When the other team is just handing you the ball back, you got to make them pay for it. The Pacers have gone 2 of 4 shooting the ball here in the second. Indiana moving it around. And it's Vassell with the thump. That's his first foul. Jalen Smith, he's checked in for Brissett. McConnell against Nash. McConnell passes to Smith. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. McConnell against Nash. The dish to Collins. Count them. Collins has got six points. I just love when teams make it work down low. McConnell passes to Orte. Ah. What the? The worst record since the mid '80s. My ankle. And with that comes growing pain. To the free throw line for him tonight. For, the guy for five minutes, he sit me down. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. Free throw, no good for Pirtle. And working Kevin themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Here's Duarte, a 23-point game for him in the win against Washington. And a fast break now for the Spurs. Two minutes MP from too far. I could not see the possession. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for the Pacers. So it's the Pacers. That's so weird, man. The screen from my monitor is different from what OBS is showing. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first half. Lock at six. There's the three. That one misses. So the Spurs will take it the other way. Pass to Nash. He feeds it to Pirtle. Clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Richard, one of the greatest coaches in the history of pro basketball, a guy you played for, Greg Popovich, on March 11, 2022, broke the all-time winningest mark for a head coach in the NBA. And what's so special is all of those victories are coming with the Spurs. And look, I had an opportunity to apologize to Pop because if it wasn't for me, he probably would have gotten here sooner. <laughs> Well, I think he would say that's completely not true. But yeah, no. uh, he had to be he had to be one of the great coaches you played. It, it was. My career got extended because of the things that I learned in San Antonio. If I wouldn't have had that experience with him and their coaching staff, I would never have played as long as I did. And, and Pearl is a massive guy. Someone that uses his height exceptionally well to get high-quality looks at the bucket. And here in the second quarter, he's starting to work himself to the free throw line. That's a good move. Brissett passes to be Johnson. Okay. Give it to him. Hey, not like that. Not inside. And letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA. The lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. 
And didn't do anything fancy there. Number five. Settle down. Points on the board. I, I don't mean style points. 41 seconds left in the first half. McConnell with it. Eight points for him. That's it. Jesus. Zhang's checked in. There's 25 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Halliburton. Indiana again missing. That's how you pass it. He's covered by McConnell. Pass to Sohan. Nash outside. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. One guy who's been getting it done is Buddy Heal. Okay. Here's it. Five, it's Johnson and Pirtle. Then it's Doug McDermott. Then there's Devin Vassell. Nash against Halliburton. Nice. Down to just 10 points with the bucket from Colin. Oh, he can run hot or he can run cold, but no doubt about which oh. way. He... There is Whatever. Uh, Halliburton has a lot of confidence inside. In fact, he's confident. That one up. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. He's doing everything he can to put this game to bed. And great score there to help his team. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Pacers leading by 10. Halliburton passes towards A. Three-pointer heel. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. Spurs trail by 10. Vassell kicks to Collins. And the pass to Roby. Passes it to Vassell. Launches a three. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. RJ has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Killed it. Don't leave your guy. He's been off. Still, they're up, so not all is lost. Drake, Devin Vassell came in as a 3 and D type player, but he's grown beyond that. Uh, he has added secondary ways to contribute on offense. Still a great shot creator, but can finish plays in a variety of ways to help his team. Nash against Halliburton. outside six on the shot clock 14 feet away San Antonio with the rebound Roby's got four rebounds now tonight Nash outside there's the drive that's in, and yeah, the Pacer lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Roby. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Heel, the pass to Halliburton. 
Here's Duarte. Okay. All right. All right. Slow it down. To the inside. That was an alley oop. Damn it. That was an alley oop play. And that offensive energy, it's contagious. Nash outside. Pass to Vassell. Shot clock at six. Collins. A three-pointer, no good. Pacers leading by ten. Halliburton on the wing. Pass to Duarte. And the rebound goes to Nash. Nash has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Down low, Roby. There it is, it's Nash. Nash has got his seventh assist in the game. Pick and roll, pick and roll him to death. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Time call here, Indiana decides to talk it over. You spent two seasons, Richard, with LeBron James in Cleveland. What was it like to play with LeBron? Well, I like to think that LeBron was playing with me the entire time. That's the way I viewed it, but it was I should have reworded that. I'm sorry. Thank, 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 thank you. I, I, I think LeBron James was an outstanding to play with just from a... Oh, this is Richard Jefferson talking. He always wanted to make the right pass, which, you know... For a teammate, you love it. You love playing with a guy that tries to lower the difficulty even more. His understanding of the game was off the charts. It is so ridiculous the way that he just sees the game before it's happening. He is easily one of the smartest players that I have ever been around. And Indiana making a change here. McConnell's checked in. Greg, looking back at the 2021 draft. I'm still shocked. Tyrese Halliburton fell to 12th. My goodness. What a steal Halliburton has been. He, he broke his wrist in college. And that scared some teams away. But boy, Tyrese has been awesome in the NBA. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. The fadeaway. Nash's shot is off. Green. That was green. Now, here's McConnell. He's got eight. Here's Brissett. Softly drops in the floor. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. McConnell against Nash. And there's the foul. What the hell is this animation crap? That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Nash against McConnell. And Nash slams it in. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> handles. Gets through the D and then powers it home. Such a pretty move inside. And Clark, how do you stop that? McConnell passes to be done. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Pacers. And he can't get the first one. At the line for Indiana. Two. Good on the second free throw. A minute 50 left to play here on the third. Nash outside. There's the pass to Vassell. Shot clock at five. Puts it up from 12. Bank shot. No good. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Here's Halliburton. San Antonio with the rebound. We've got 113 left to play in the third. So the wing on the left. That one, the Indiana lead has been cut to just nine points on the basket from Nash. 
I, I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. Healed outside. Pass to Brissett. Three-pointer. He can't get that one. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. Nash, the pass to Sohan. Nice. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. The Pacers making a switch here. Smith has checked in. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for the Pacers. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Shot and game clock separated by five. Back to Smith. That's two percent. They kick out to heel. It's up a three. Rebound by Sohan. And here's Nash outside. And you guys gotta pass it quicker than that. With a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm Assist of the Game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. He does do a great job steering the ship for them out there and keeping the offense clicking. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Smith is out there with Turner. Then it's Halliburton. Then there's Buddy Heald, and it's Duarte in at the three. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Heald outside to the wing right side. The shot no good by Duarte. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths into the nose. The defenders need to recognize the We got this. Healed the pass to turn. Shoots over Pirtle. That one off the back iron and out. Spurs trail by three. McDermott kicks to Nash. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. I gotta beat this. Guys, <laughs> all about hard work from this point on. That high quality shot, and then able to knock it down. Pacers are shooting 43% for the game. Healed outside. Back to Halliburton. Pass to Duarte. And here's Halliburton. And there's the pass to Orte. Down to five on the shot clock. Looking to end his cold spell. Jump shot is good that time. What the hell, dude? And he's been much more assertive here in the second half. Getting to his spots. Executing with ease. Nash outside. Feeds it to Bertle. Shot it! Oh my God. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Pirtle with the ball. Halliburton picks him up. Oh. It's going to be on Miles Turner. Substitution on the court. Shooting for San Antonio. Damn. We tied it up. And they're going to take me out and make the other and make the team pick up, uh, pick up the lead. 
Okay. Just the fourth time someone is reached. crying, guys. Quality pass, setting up quality shot. Points again. Here we go. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And for Turner, Greg, that ridiculous line has been equal. Only two players ever. Hey, Kevin, how about that? Only Carl Anthony Towns and Vince Carter who've had the combination of threes, rebounds, and blocks. Shows you how special the all around. And now a moment to present the new yes. best. charging performance jump shots have been kind of an afterthought his main goal has been to attack the rim and put the d in some tough spots and also finishing strong Halliburton inside the three-point line ah, dude. a pure looking jumper right there Halliburton has such confidence in his ability to score inside there we go and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. And the Pacers call time here. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same team. But you need to be the loudest. Can you do it? And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? During that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear Rick Carlisle's message to his team. He likes where things are headed, but he cautioned them to play smart the rest of the way. He said carelessness with the ball, with assignments, with rotations, any of that can undo what we've worked to accomplish so far. Kevin, they are... Here's Johnson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance. Bro, you suck at free throws. Oh, man. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Ooh, you hope they're leaving points at the line. You look me right now. You suck at free throws. Just stop making, trying to go to the line. And he uses the glass on the way. Halliburton's got 21 in the game. And once Halliburton hits his stride, there's just very little you can do defensively, proving how dominant he can be. And another great look at the 2K drop. Pacers leading by seven. Passes it to Halliburton outside. Healed outside. Now, Halliburton. Go ahead. See that? And Halliburton not afraid to work for it on offense, taking the contact and still getting the finish. Pass to Johnson. Nash outside. Back to Johnson. That's good again. His seventh basket. Seven for ten from the floor. Offensively, Johnson has just been getting his way. The defense has to try something new if they want to slow him down. Healed outside. Indiana moving the ball around. Oh my God. And the Pacers lead by nine. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. Oh, nice drive there to get to the bucket using some of that terrific agility that he possesses. Back to Halliburton. Foul? No? We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. And there's the whistle for the illegal screen. Isaiah oh, when a pick like that is a it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. The you have San to blow Antonio the whistle. With the you gotta blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Time, for your time called here. The Spurs decide to talk Let's it over. They're trailing by seven. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Out to Nash. Fires the three. 
Taylor with the rebound. Here's McConnell. Pass to Neesmith. But in the end, everyone says. Uh, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to it in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. So long, everyone. What up, Ash? Press? No. Uh, I gotta show you something. Just watch this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's MP stand for anyway? Sounds like a phone to me. <laughs> Y'all got that MP29? <laughs> that, that Nokia joint? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I think it stands for mostly pathetic. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Major pose. <laughs> Missed the point. <laughs> Musty pillow. Oh! <laughs> Yo, why is that so funny, though? I think it's because she's an agent. Usually they're not funny. They're just suits. But this agent, she is very funny. Oh, yeah. They're supposed to be friends with everybody. You know what I mean? That's kind of their deal. Right. That right? is my deal. I'm either your friend or your worst enemy and Ooh. nothing in between. Mm. Oh. You still salty Ricky Bennett didn't join your agency, Barbara? Oh, come on now. I was just trying to help a brother out. It's not my fault that he doesn't understand the rules of the mm. game. Oh, Shep, you know, I got a serious question for you. Um, what? Why can't you be more of a leader <laughs> like MP? <laughs> what are you going to be so gosh darn selfish all the time? <laughs> Man, anyone looking up to that bum now? Good luck leading a team when you buried on the bench. Ooh, oh. <laughs> but you know who I really feel sorry for? Like, Ooh. honestly, his girl. Oh. <laughs> all these NBA right. players. Mm. She stuck with that clown? I mean, realistically, man, he probably got a whole closet full of cardigans and pleated khakis. <laughs> <laughs> She'll figure it out. Mm. Speaking of, yo, Mila, your boy's single. Hit me up if you ever want to see what it's like to be with a real man. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, I yeah. am not touching that one. Look, this episode is going to do numbers, bro. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> hey, 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 Chef, any final words you want to say to MP? You know, before the camera dies, because we're making this fire content right now. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I just want to say... Your game's trash, oh, oh. your agent's trash, mm. your girl's trash, mm. and you're trash. Mm. <laughs> Did I forget anything? Girl, agent, no. I think you got that covered, buddy. And mm. the next time I see you, I'm going to tell you that to your face. Other than that, you know, uh, just wishing you many blessings, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's real classy. Why would he even mention me? Because he's Shep. Does he need a reason? Yeah, no, he does not. Clown. Look, this means nothing. It's just some loud mouth being a loud mouth. But you do have that Top Takes Daily interview tomorrow, and they are absolutely going to want to ask about this, given yeah, how inflammatory it was. Like I said, it's just, it's, it's no big deal. It is no big <sighs> deal, but we are going to obviously need to strategize your response, okay? So meet me at the business hub after you finished up here, and we'll go over whatever it is we need to go over. The yeah? business hub? Appreciate you, Ash. Always keep me in the loop, no matter how painful it is. Thank you. It's literally what you pay me to do. But, yeah. See you in a bit. These three MP, all the shoe companies are sweating over you. It's time to decide who you want to sign with. Jordan Brand, dude. It's <laughs>
have to try and change the uh, free throw animation. Does that suck? Hmm. I think I'm either gonna go with Kobe or Kawhi. Go with him. Hey, man. No, nothing changed. The uh, thing. Select the drill. Press circle. Be sure to visit the Gatorade. Got it. Boom. Whatever. Get to work. Here's what we're gonna do. You got it. You got it. Come on, man. Damn it, dude. Once it's when it's a green, 
It's a swish. Not a bounce. Get over here! Look, let's put that game behind us right now. Okay, it's just one, and we have another one just ahead. Let's just get focused and prepare for it. We have to be smarter about our approach to the game down the stretch. Coaches! Set up the drill! Let's get it, fellas! Why is he not passing it? Yeah. A lot easier to make a three in this game. I like um last year's. Shooting, it's good. Yes, got some shooting in. This is playmaking. Huh. Hey, he can ball, huh? the gym without putting some individual work in. Put some work into making the correct decisions during transition. You got it, you got it. Yeah. We all just be ready. Yo, look at the clock. Oh.
off on my practices, man. Super off. There you go. And I thought I wasn't gonna get a free star in this one. Let's get everyone over here and get started. Here's what we're gonna do. Get it started, man. Let's get it started. We've been ready. We're waiting your team. Oh, come on. Again. Shoot it. Yo, we got this. Don't worry. Yo, yo, look at super slow. You got it. You got it. Come on, man. shot. Get everyone over here and get started. Here's what we're gonna do. Turn it up! Turn it up! Nah, we good. Let's ball. Get by! Train that baby! Oh, oh, yeah. You can't guard me! Two more assists, and I'm good. Yep, I'm good. Me, dude. Bills. Hey, hey, hey. This is a piece of cake, baby. 
baby. Okay. I think I got a playmaking uh, badge that I can unlock. Oh. <laughs> Should have waited. Finishes at the rim. <laughs> Drop stepper. Green shake. Shooter slippery off the ball when attempting to get an open off screens. Player or Agent three. Who's the ability to pull up for specialist from? I don't need that. I'm gonna have to wait. Just get the, the clutch. Oh wait, this is that thing. I need this one. Alright, um, yeah, like I said, we're just gonna keep this for like an hour. I think we're gonna end it there. Thank you for watching. Uh, like this video, comment, let me know what you guys think, and share this video. Help me recommend it to others so that, you know, this channel grows and we can making more I'm out. I mean I'm gonna keep making more and more and more but please share it so that you know we can uh grow this um channel um uh, yeah um I'll see you guys on the next one later